Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial 12 of the introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. In today's tutorial, let's understand what lists are in Python. And this is very important because an image is a list. It has a bunch of values. Uh, it's in fact a two dimensional list. So let's spend a few minutes understanding what lists are and what its strengths are, what can you do with lists and what its weaknesses are. So let's jump into our spider IDE. Again, this is the development environment we chose for Python for these tutorials. So uh, let's start by defining a list. A, def a list is a set of numbers. It can be a set of text characters, uh, or it can be a mixture of numbers and text. So let's start by defining. In fact, let's uh, type everything in console so the feedback is immediate. So let's uh, create a list. Uh, assign it to a variable of a and let's just do one two three four five, oh, sorry four and five and the way you create a list is by just defining individual elements and putting a comma right next to it so when I hit return up here in the variable explorer you can see that my a is a type of list it's not an integer anymore and of size five because I have five elements every time you're talking about coding language typically the first element is represented by a value of zero. Meaning in this example, my zeroth element has a value of one. My first element has a value of two and then three and then four and then five. It, it, it may not make sense, uh, but please get used to it. In fact, to make that fact uh, a bit more apparent, let's create another list. And this time let's actually create a list of uh, uh, a mixture of things. Okay, two, four, uh, again, anytime I want to type text as part of uh, my code, I put a quotation, okay? You can use single or double quotes. Apple, I don't know, let's say banana, and close the list. And lists use square brackets, as you can see. So now I have another list here, okay? So the square brackets, a list with four uh, elements in there. The first two are numbers and then I have some text over there. Now if I actually type print b of uh, let's say 2. Oops, sorry. Okay. What do you think it prints? So all I'm trying to do is b is our list here and print the second element in that list. Well, in your mind, you would be thinking the second element is four, but again, start counting from zero. Zero, one, two. So that would be apple. So if I hit return there, it prints apple. So I hope you got the idea. Now, if I actually print, let's do one more. Print B of minus, sorry, minus one, okay? It should print banana because zero is two, minus one is the other way around. So the world is around here. So it starts with two, ends with banana, so minus one means banana. Or uh, if I type B of three, it should actually type banana, okay? So again, do your own exercise, get some feel for it. So lists, what are lists? Lists are uh, uh, a set of numbers or text or a combination of these two. Now you can actually add lists. For example, if I say C equals to A plus B and then type C, so my C is one, two, three, four, five, okay? Which is my list A plus two, four, apple and banana. So addition when it comes to lists is concatenation. It's adding one list and the other list and creating a super list of these two, okay? That's what uh, A plus B is. That's what addition is. Now, uh, what else can we actually do? Uh, so lists, Lists can be edited. We just saw that. Uh, well, we didn't see that. Let's actually edit this list. So what I would like to do is add an element to our list B. Okay, let's add an entry. Let's add grape to list B. Okay, so the way you do that is B, okay, dot append. And then what do I want to append? Grape. Okay, now if I type B or print B, you should see that now my list is uh, has a size of five and the values are two, four, apple, banana, and grape. So this is one of the key things that separates lists from its other cousins, okay? 
which we'll talk about in the next tutorial. They're called tuples, okay? And uh, so lists are editable. I can add, I can remove. How do I remove? I think there is a, uh, the easiest way is let's assign another variable called D. D equals to, uh, let's say, uh, b dot pop i think that's the uh which one b b yeah b dot pop okay now if you look at b grape is gone so pop is removing the last element from this list okay now it's gone it's actually assigned to a variable called d and now my d is grape okay so d is nothing but a single string which is grape and B is, there are a lot of other operators, I mean, other functions like this, uh, but these are some of the useful ones. Uh, that's why I chose to talk about these. Now, uh, so here we created the, this list by typing the numbers ourselves, but you can use some built-in functions to populate the list. So let's say E equals to, uh, one easy way of doing things is uh, list and range, and let's just type a value of 20. Okay, now if you look at E, E is numbers starting from zero all the way to 19. And again, so all it's doing is just generating a bunch of integers starting from zero up to a, a number of 20. If you want 20 included, just type 20 over there. And then, uh, sorry, uh, just type that value over there. By the way, if you hit the up arrow key, it cycles through the few, the last few commands that you actually typed. So you can just go there, edit, and then print this again so now I have values numbers from 0 to 20 okay so um, uh, anything uh, yeah you can now extract a few of these uh, a subset of this for example if you want to assign f equals to e from okay um, let's say 5 to 10 let's see what it does print f so f is five six seven eight nine again let's go back and count this is zero one two three four five right so what is the fifth element here the first one second one third fourth and fifth okay so it's starting from five and going all the way to the tenth one so it's actually uh, 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 typing five six seven eight nine here okay this is a bit weird uh, it includes uh, the uh, you know as you can see it starts with five okay which means I'm saying that my value should start from five zero one two three four five it started at five okay five is included but it doesn't include ten so the first one it includes the last one it doesn't the, i i really struggled when i was learning python uh for a couple of days because i didn't know this fact i'm like where is my math going wrong this is where it was okay so for beginners this may be a bit counterintuitive so five is included 10 is not included when you're actually uh, uh, creating these subsets or they call it slicing okay now you can also slice it different way you can just say e is uh, 5 and put a colon right next to it which means starting with 5 but all the way to the end so if you just look at g it's starting with 5 all the way to the end okay uh, so this is called slicing or subsetting and you can do this in uh, you know from any range to any range so what else? Let me look at my notes to see if I have anything else uh, uh, that I want to show you here. Yeah, I mean, a few operators that you can see, for example, if you want to find out what is the maximum value of this uh, uh, list G, or maximum value in the list G is 20, right? So right there. So if you have a whole bunch of pixels in your image and you want to find out what is the maximum value, it's just max of G, okay? Minimum is pretty much the same thing. Minimum of G is that. Okay, our minimum in this case is five. I'm not sure if we can do median of G. Let's see. No, for that we need to import math or stat uh, statistics and then just get the median value of G. Okay, it's not one of these built in functions. Now you can actually, uh, uh, the, I, so far I just showed you one dimensional list, but images are two dimensions. So you can actually do two dimensional lists. So you can say uh, one, two. Again, I put another square bracket there three four another square bracket close the square bracket okay so now if you print x you can see one two three four so it's it's like a matrix one two and three four okay you have your rows and columns over there 
Okay, so I think this is uh, pretty much we need to know when it comes to lists uh, for now. We will play with these when we load our own images later on. But I'd like to finish with one thing. So what is our A? A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So what do you think 2 times A is? 2 multiplied by A. It's not 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. In fact, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when you're dealing with lists, when you do certain math like this, two times A, it's just concatenating. It's just adding that list that many times, which is useless for us. If you want to change the brightness of our image by two times, if we want to change the pixel values by two times, then by adding these pixels, that's not the right way to do. This is exactly why we need to work with NumPy because NumPy makes handling these lists and doing math on these lists very easy. So we'll talk about NumPy in a few uh, lectures from now, but in the next tutorial, I'm gonna talk about a very similar topic to lists, which is tuples, which is exactly like lists except you cannot change those. So let's uh, spend a few more minutes in the next tutorial learning about tuples. Thank you very much.